Have you seen the new series on Netflix about Jeffrey Dahmer? Of course you have. Uh, it's everywhere. It's like a bit hard to avoid. Um, I actually haven't, but I've been interested in, or well, it's a morbid interest, I have a morbid interest in serial killers. It worked, Patrick. I scared everybody. So um, I know a little bit about him, so... I thought, let's make a video. I did make one about Ed Kemper. Didn't do very well, but let's hope this goes better. I don't know what that noise was. In the series, Jeffrey Dahmer is played by Evan Peters, but in real life, this is what he looks like. Um, he was... Now we've seen the face. Let me take you back to May the 21st, 1960, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, because that's where you're going to find a baby Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> At this point, he hadn't had his first taste of human flesh. He wasn't quite the baby-faced purveyor of sweetmeats. Excuse the turn of phrase. I actually wish I didn't do that. Yuck. But it did have two parents. Joyce Dahmer, who had been noted as possibly suffering from postpartum, and his father, who was absent because he was, I don't know, doing some education. I can't remember exactly what it was, but most of his childhood he was off in education. Or if they were together, um, they had a very like abusive relationship with each other and also which induced a neglectful situation for Dharma. However, an interesting piece of information that I found out from a documentary which was mostly to do with his parents is when he was younger, his dad did introduce him to, like, the uh, the art of tax taxidermy. So you could maybe... Maybe that's some creepy foreshadowing. Um, but, yeah, he also got abandoned at, like, you know, his sexual awakening era you know like when you're having puberty basically and um he was gay so he's from a conservative family and that so at that time that was very taboo um so he hid his identity from everybody and himself um whilst being abandoned because both parents moved after divorcing and thought that jeffrey was with each other um so then he became an alcoholic and that is actually where he f made his first victim in the end there were 17 victims and yes they, some of them do have living relatives left so could we please keep the comments respect mildly respectful please um but other than that if you guys like this video just like it and follow me in that and then maybe i'll do another one maybe i'll still do another one i don't know i kind of like these ones um i babble with it a little bit but it's like an informal lesson. <laughs> See you later. I'm actually going to go watch it now. I haven't watched it yet.